equilibrium in three dimensions. Equilibrium condition. We now extended our principle and method developed for three, for two-dimensional equilibrium to the case of three-dimensional equilibrium. In the previous articles, the general conditions for the equilibrium of a body were stated as follow for two-dimension. equilibrium condition we're extended at these three functions fx fy and the moment on any point o equals to zero which require that the resultant force and resultant couple on a body in equilibrium be zero. These two vector equations of equilibrium and their scalar component may be written in three dimension as follow. In the three dimension, equilibrium condition we have sigma f equals to zero or f is zero f y and sigma f z and for the moment sigma m x direction y direction and z direction equals to zero. For three dimension equilibrium, the first three scalar equation state that there is no resultant force acting on a body in equilibrium. There is no resultant force acting on a body in equilibrium any of uh, in any of three coordinate direction as stated here x, y, and z. The second three scalar equation expresses further equilibrium requirement that there be no resultant moment there be no Resultant moment acting on the body about any point. Any 
any access or about access parallel to the coordinate axis. These six equations are both necessary and sufficient conditions for complete equilibrium. The reference axis may be chosen arbitrarily as a matter of convenience, the only least restriction being that a right-handed coordinate system should be chosen when vector notation is used. The six external relationship in this equation are independent condition because any of them can be valid without the other. For example, for a car which accelerates on a straight and level road in the x direction, Newton's second law tells us that resultant force on the car equals its mass times its acceleration. In this case, the summation of forces is not equals to zero, but the remaining two forces equilibrium equation are satisfied in other direction because all other acceleration components are zero. Similarly, if the flywheel of the engine of accelerating car is rotating with the increasing angular speed about the x-axis, it is not in rotational equilibrium about this axis. Thus, for the flywheel along the momentum among along, uh, about x may be not to zero and with the summation of the force in the x-axis is not zero, but the remaining four equilibrium equation for the flywheel would be satisfied for its bad center axis. In applying the vector form of these equations, we first express each of forces in terms of coordinate unit vector ij ka. So we first express each force in the form of vector for vector along x, y, z or i, j, k unit vectors for the first equations, sigma f equals to zero, so r equals to rx i plus r y j plus r z k equals to zero. Each of them. It must be equal to zero. The vector sum will be zero only if the coefficient of i, j, and k in the expression are respectively zero. These three sums that we expressed before, which is set equal to zero, yields precisely the three scalar equations of the sigma fx. Sigma F by and Sigma F Z equals to Z. For the second equation, the momentum equation. Sigma M equals to the M O. Where the moment sum may be taken about any convenient point O, we express the moment of each force at the cross product of M R for F R multiplied to F. The moment for the force F. Where R is the position vector from O?
arbitrary point O to any point on the line of action of the force F. Thus the summation of momentum sigma When the coefficients of i, j, and k in the resulting moment equations are set equal to zero respectively, we obtain three scalar moment equations which are sigma m x m i equals to zero. In the three-dimensional equilibrium we have also free body diagram will be described in the next section